Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how to use sapling learning. If you go to the course website, there's the sapling learning instructions. And this will show you how to log in to sapling learning. So what you need to do is go to sapling learning.com go to US higher ed and log in your username will be your southeast email and I'm going to use my mine to show you that what the instructor will see and your password when the first time you log in will should be your student ID the S0 number uh, mine has already been changed so I'll log in and it will show you the course so these are at least all the courses I'm teaching and have taught so this is the course for our PH106 and once you log in you should see all the course assignments right now you don't see everything so let me switch my role to student and for now as you can see all the homework they have not been posted uh, or you can see just the homework names however just to show you how to use it I am going to switch my role back to an instructor and show you how to use it each homework for example this homework one You will find all the problems on your left. So for this problem, for this assignment, there are eight problems. And then you can put your uh, the answers the whatever the way you want to. So I'm just randomly picking my answers here. And when you feel comfortable, you go all the way down and you click check answer and then immediately it will give you some feedback it will tell you with some hint and sometimes there are hints right here uh, not with this particular one uh, after a few times if you feel frustrated you can give give up and view solution however if you do that you are not going to get any credit so let's try again uh, Click try again and uh, this time I change that to fact then you can check answer again and again it will ask you a hypothesis so uh, you can try again then you check answer then correct and you can see so because I have attempted three times three attempts each attempt will get 5% deduction so my score for that question will be 90% and then click on next then I'm going to the next question and you under this question immediately you see there's hint usually you want to click this first because this usually will give you some useful hints for the particular question Okay, that's my quick introduction to how to use the uh, sapling learning.